For 200 years, this is where kings, princes, movie stars and millionaires bought their suits. Savile Row exudes history and tradition and, well, maleness. But that just changed. The deck is the brainchild of Daisy Natchbull. It offers everything the others do just for women. Oh, we have a whole basement down here, yeah. She says she's reshuffling the deck of fashion. This street is steeped in history and heritage. It's known globally. It's the best in the business. So for us, this is kind of the mecca of where we want to be. Buy a suit here and you buy much more than cloth and stitching. You're buying something made for you and you alone. It's not cheap. Suits start at $2,800, and the whole process from first measurement and choosing fabric to fitting, adjustments and final delivery takes 10 weeks. We have clients who are 90. We have the woman that has some savings and really wants to invest in something that's going to be durable and have longevity and versatility, and, and she'll be our client. And then, of course, we have the woman that comes in and buys, you know, five suits. We have such a plethora of women that make up our client, and that's what I love. Opening an exclusive female tailoring business here in the heart of male bespoke tailoring in a recession during a pandemic, it's a huge gamble. But as with all business ideas, if you're passionate enough about it and you're convinced there's a market, there is no time like the present. And so far, this gamble is paying off big time. The shop is a little shy about just how many orders are coming in, but it's busy and getting busier. Perhaps because the pandemic has made some women rethink their attitude to fast fashion. There's nothing like having something made to you. And I think it's been happening for a while and, and the fashion industry has needed to change. And I think the pandemic's only sped that up. And people are really starting more and more to see the value in, as much as it's more expensive, investing in something that will last and stand the test of time and, and become more conscious consumers and buying less but buying better. Despite the timing, this new business has defied the odds. There's a loyal client base and thanks to social media and celebrity clients, booming interest from overseas. It's gratifying, but slightly frustrating for a business so reliant on face-to-face -face contact. There are plans for online fittings, but people getting on planes again would be even better for an innovative business looking to turn a good start into a runaway success. Simon McGregor Wood, TRT World, London.